Hello guys, this is Amos Style Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the song called IDFC by Black Bear. So here we go, give you a preview of the theme you're going to learn. Check it out, give you a preview right now. Can you repeat it? Let's get right into it. So melody and chords, that's the foundation of the song. So from that, you can add extra stuff afterwards. So here we go. Let's break it up to parts that's easier to learn. We'll break it up into, let me see. Uh, let me see. Okay, we'll break it up to three parts, okay? First part goes like this, right? So that's in the B here. Middle C, just go up to the B here. This so goes B, A, and then three G sharps. F sharp, and then back up to B, and down to G sharp four times. One, two, three, four. That's it for the first part for the right hand. Okay, let's do it again. So it goes like this. It goes B, A, G sharp, G sharp, G sharp, F sharp. Back up to B, and then four G sharps. Two, three, four. That's it for the right hand. Once you get the right hand there, left hand, two chords here. The two chords are F sharp minor, which is F sharp, A, C sharp. And second chord is A major, which is A, C sharp, E. So with these two chords in mind, so F sharp minor and A major, the two hands together goes like this. B and F sharp minor together. B and A major together, like that, okay, one more time, so it goes like this, it goes together, together, and there you have it, okay, so, that's the first part, moving on to the second part, Ryan continues, goes B and then 4 G sharps, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then F sharp, E, and then 5 F sharps, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 G sharp, that's like that, and there you have it for the second part, one more time, so it goes like this, it goes B, four G sharps, one, two, three, four, and then F sharp, E, and then five F sharps, one, two, three, four, five G sharp. That's it for the right hand. Once you get the right hand there, left hand, two chords here, the two chords are C sharp minor, which is C sharp, E, D sharp, and second chord B major, which is B, D sharp, F sharp. So with these two chords in mind, so C sharp minor and B major, two hands together goes like this, B and C sharp minor together, so it's together. F sharp, B major together. That one more time, it goes like this, it goes to get up, to get up. And there you have it for the second part. So back to back, the two parts I've learned so far will be played like this. Check it out, so it goes. And there you have it. Moving on to the third and last part, right hand continues, goes down to E, up to A, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, G sharp, F sharp, E. And then up to A, G sharp. That's it for the right hand for the third part. One more time, so it goes like this, goes E, A, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, G sharp, F sharp, E. Up to A, G sharp. Okay, that's the right hand. Left hand, we just have the four chords here. The four chords are actually these four chords that make up the first and second part. So if you remember that, that's F sharp minor, A major, C sharp minor, and B major in this order, okay? So with these four chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts on the E. A and F sharp minor together. After E, A major by itself. Ryan continues. After G sharp, C sharp minor by itself. And then B major by itself. Like that. One more time, it goes like this. It goes, skip up. Here. 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 And there you have it. Okay, so back to back, the two parts we've learned, we would play like this. Check it out, so it goes. The third part, okay, if you want to actually play like the original where it starts off the song, the third part, sometimes the last two notes instead of A, G sharps, you can do the two C sharps next to the middle C. So you can do like, and then two C sharps, like that. Yeah, and then the second time play through, you play it 
what you learnt in this lesson. But anyways, yeah, so that's something for you to think about uh, if you want to play it more to the original. Okay, but anyways, so after you practice all these parts, all the melody chords, all the notes and rhythm correctly, with all the um, yeah, uh, all the notes like played f consistently, like once you repeat it every single time, it's still consistently correct. Then you can start to add other improvisation and decoration patterns to it to make it more awesome. Left hand can do like octave and arpeggio patterns or rhythmic patterns. Right hand you can harmonize it based on those respective chords. Okay, so it can be like. pretty awesome okay and that's pretty much it hope you enjoyed this lesson if it did make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally I have multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of other videos for you to enjoy and learn from so most likely you can find your favorite song to load on my channel but anyway also check out my website bestpianomethod.com linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me learn how to play by ear improvise read sheet music and a lot of other cool stuff so make sure to check that out as for now enjoy time around my channel and see you next time thanks for watching for those who want to learn my methods on how to play any song by ear, grab the free preview of my book. Or just visit my website, bestpianomethod.com, for all my other piano mastery courses, sheet music, song requests, and services. All the links are in the description below. See you next time.